Greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe, click on the bell icon, comment and share this content with your family, friends and colleagues. If you're part of my regular audience, I'd like to welcome you back to yet another video. Thank you for your support. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can import, cite and reference non-academic sources. In particular, I'll be focusing on web pages such as dictionaries, Wikipedia, organizational websites. So these are okay. the tools that I'll be using in this video. Google Chrome, uh, Mendeley and Microsoft Word. So I'm going to start by going to Mendeley. So uh, there are three ways that you can uh, uh, in, in, input um, non-academic sources in, in, in Mendeley. So the first one is go into any folder where you want your citation i mean your, your source to be right like in this case i click the masters and then in a white space or in an, a blank space you can right click and then uh, click add entry manually a menu will appear that allows you to to do uh, or to enter the information about the source that you want okay i'm not going to enter, enter using this one but i'll show you another one so the first one was right click and then enter uh, entry manually uh, this is another way that you can access this menu by going to file and then you click add entry manually the same window will appear okay so when this window appears you click on that type drop down right and then this type drop down uh, list a whole lot of uh, types of documents that you can enter in here right so we've got bills book book section case uh, um, conference proceedings uh, and so on right so if you are entering a web page uh, there's an option for a web page right at the bottom so you select it and then the settings will, will, will be defaulted to to the web page so things like the title of the web page the author of the web page the publication the year uh, the pages okay if there's an abstract you put that information uh, the day that you accessed uh, that web page you put it here in, like in this case today is 20, 21 June 2020 so you put that date here and then you put the uh, URL so when you're done filling that information you can then click save okay so once you click save that information that you have here will be stored as, a, as another line okay down here but then um, you realize that the purpose of um, uh, IT tools is to make our lives easy okay so there is no need for you to enter manually okay so i'm going to show you the third way which is the way that you, sh you should always use uh, when you're importing web pages uh, into into mendeley okay so what you need to do is you need to make sure that uh, a mendeley plugin for web importer is installed so how do you do that you click on tools and then you click on install web importer so if it's not there already when you click on this option another window will appear that allows you to to run and install that web importer so i have done that uh, already with my computer uh, and for you to know that i have done that you can see that on my on, on my uh, google uh, um, com page that i've opened here i've got that icon here uh, if i point it move on it it will say mainly web importer so i've already installed and that tool is sitting right here so whenever i want to cite i use that tool okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to type uh big data and i see i have already typed it initially so it's appearing already so i'll pick big data uh, so when I search for big data, a whole, a whole lot of uh, web pages will appear. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to um, pages that are right at the bottom here. Uh, let me use uh, this one. Okay, I'm gonna open a new tab. I'm gonna use the SARS one. I'm gonna use the Wikipedia one, and then I'm gonna use the Oracle one. Oracle one. Okay, so I've opened four of them. Okay, so if I come to that uh, web page um well i can't use this one because it's, it's a it's a link to other other links so i'm not going to use this one so i'll use the, the rest of the of the thing okay so while you're on this page and then you've seen that this this is stuff that you want um um so maybe you can copy that right um uh, go into your web document and then paste in there right and then go back there and now you want to to import information about this page so what you need to do is you click on that uh, button 
right and then it will open the web importer right if you have not signed in already it will ask you to sign in so i'm just going to click on sign in okay it looks like i'm i'm signed in already uh you can tell because there is my name here the account that i'm using to sign in which is academic research guru okay so while i'm in i have what uh, this window populated that shows that uh there is one reference that is detected on this page and that reference is sitting here okay and that reference is is with the title big data um what is and why it matters okay sars africa and then there's a link and a whole lot of other information right so what you need to do next is to select uh that particular reference right you are you are trying to tell the web importer that this is the particular reference that i want to to import okay so when you select it the add button will be activated if i deselect it it will be uh, uh disabled okay so i'm gonna click on it and then it's enabled and then down here i've got an option uh, that allows me to select um, the folder that i want to import that reference into so if you uh, click that drop down you see i've got master's thesis i've got um, um master's thesis i've got the phd thesis i've got the effects of covid19 i've got the role of gender these are the folders that are actually sitting in my mendeley if you come here you'll see that i've got my master's this is PhD. This is the effects of COVID, the role of gender. So these are the folders that are that are that are in Mendeley uh, in the account that I'm I'm logged in. Okay. So you select the folder that you want to import into. Like in this case, I selected masters, and then you click on add. Okay. So it will process and then try to get all this information into Mendeley, and then it adds it into Mendeley. Okay. And then um, we are done with this one. Then you go to the next uh, link. And then this one is the Wikipedia, so it's trying to import uh, all the information that is sitting here. So you click on that icon again, and then this one will take a while because there are a lot of references and citations that are sitting in this web page only. So it tries to import all of them. That's why you see there's a whole lot of information um, or references that are sitting uh, on on this as compared to the one here where he did one only but with this one it picked a whole lot of a whole lot of stuff why because there are other citations uh that are in here so it picks all of them and then lists them here okay so in other words if you are actually citing this particular statement right so you need to identify author two okay all right statistical power analysis and then you add okay but then if you are citing a, a statement like in like uh this one right this is not coming from any source this is actually from wikipedia itself so if you are citing this particular one then what you need to do is you need to go right at the bottom and import the details for that web page so i'm going to click on that i'm going to click on that and then under um, this folder my master's thesis i'm going to click on add so it will take the details in here and then add them to my master's thesis okay when i'm done i'm gonna go to uh this particular site from oracle and then click on that uh web importer icon and then it will try to get all the information about this page and then uh, um highlights um uh you highlight the the the, the, the web page details and then you click on add it's gonna add again the master's thesis and then uh you have three uh sources in Mendeley already that are imported okay so i'm gonna go to Mendeley now uh, but then when you come to Mendeley you won't be able to see them remember i was adding into um uh, master's thesis i won't be able to see them until i go to file and then synchronize my library so it's trying to refresh and import whatever that is probably not showing and then shows them now you can see that i have them these are the three that i imported now you can see they are written uh just now just now three minutes ago okay right and then uh if you if you see that this article i mean this uh this information is not really enough you can still double click on this to open it um uh, in detail so that you can add more information like in this case we do not have an author we do not have the year maybe you have that information right you can enter them manually here and then when you enter them manually they will be saved okay um i can do the same even with uh, uh that one uh wikipedia double click it and then i can enter the the rest of the information uh here okay um right so uh let me let me actually let me just edit this uh so it says that uh the the the, the title is big data yes but it's not wikipedia so wikipedia becomes the author so i've cut that uh, 
paste it in there and then I'm gonna remove this hyphen and then uh, publication there's no publication for that okay so I'm gonna leave it like that once I have that information there then I'm good I'm gonna um, uh, click on uh, show document details and then uh, I think uh, for the next one is uh, okay, that one okay uh, I know this one is coming from SAS okay so I can say cut SAS SAS um, South Africa okay All right um, okay I want it like that okay and then when you're happy uh, you can then just say that this is good then you start citing now i'm gonna go to microsoft word and then start citing so big data is a term that describes where did this come from this came from um the sas one remember i copied from here so which means you want the sas one uh then yeah here so we're gonna click on reference uh if you want to know how to cite i've got another video that i recorded about citing using mentally so just check out that video it will give you details on how to cite okay um so i'm, I'm, I'm citing the size one instead of going to mentally i can always type the author here it will appear and then select it and then click ok Okay, so it will check Mendeley and try to import that citation and then put it in here. Okay, and then it comes with an ND. What does ND mean? N stands for no D dead. So it says no dead. So this citation that you have here does not have a dead. If it had a dead, it was going to be written down here. Okay, so don't get confused when you see ND. ND just stands for no dead. Okay, so let's just say however, uh, so and so right says what 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 and then i'm gonna cite another article so i'm gonna click on insert and then i'll type oracle okay does it appear yes it does and then i'm gonna click uh, okay okay right it comes here and, and writes like this which is not really what we want okay so uh we have to go and edit our citation for oracle to make sure that it's it's writing it's titled correctly okay so I'm going to come there and say uh, it's Oracle South Africa and then here this is the title uh, year of publication let me just put 20, uh, 2020 because I downloaded in 2020 even though uh, it's accessed on that day okay uh, I think I'm happy and then I'll click on that okay um, and then uh, remove this citation and recite again so I'm going to cite and then oracle click on that okay now it says africa 2020 but it's not really africa so i'm gonna go back to my oracle uh it's that one double click it and then remove that remove that uh, comma and put africa at the end okay right so that it won't treat um It won't treat Oracle South Africa. This is the one that I want. Okay, and then uh, I'm good to go. Go to my word and then delete that. And oh, sorry, undo. Uh, delete that and then recite. So I'm gonna type Oracle. Click on it. Okay. Right now it writes appropriately. Oracle South Africa 2020. Now we have got a 2020 year. Why? Because uh, we edited this and we said the year. That this was published is 2020 okay but if i remove that 2020 i'll have nd just like this one uh sitting that here okay and then i'm gonna add the other one according to um site uh, the other one is what is wikipedia wikipedia it's appearing click on it click ok and then it puts it according to wikipedia it does not have a date which is okay and then you write whatever that you want to write okay um so this is how you cite um uh non academic articles and this is how you import them into into mendeley and of course you can insert them as bibliography just click on the insert bibliography and then you import all the uh articles that you have cited here right and then put the details uh down here right but you can you can see that there is a retrieve retrieved june um 21 2020 um information there 
okay on all these articles what is this trying to say is you you cited or referenced these articles on this particular day so you retrieved information from the, those sites on that actual day and you need this why because whenever your examiner is marking your your, your article uh, i mean your, your, your document your thesis or if it's an article and the reviewer is reviewing your work when they go to this website right and then they see that the information that is actually sitting on this website is not exactly as the way that you took it they are not going to penalize you why because you are saying when i retrieved this information from this website on this day this was the information that was there but these guys changed the information uh, later on right so that's why the information is not changed so they won't penalize you because you actually say that you retrieved it on that day so you really need this this is very important so take note of that retrieved date is always needed so make sure it's there if it's not there then you need to make sure that you in you input it manually here date accessed okay even these you can always change and say i don't want to use APA. i want to use harvard right it will change uh, and make it Harvard, or you can say I want to use I triple E. It will update them and use I triple E and cite and reference them according to how I triple E uses. Okay, thank you for uh, tuning in and watching this video. I do hope that you'll be able to import and cite non-academic uh, articles into your Mendeley and your documentation. Uh, Thank you for watching and keep supporting me remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed remember to share the video remember to like and put a comment uh, let's see you in the next video thank you goodbye